Huh. I never saw the girl. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. Rum is made from the sugar cane grown in the Caribbean. Other popular cocktails that feature rum include the Mai Tai, the Mojito, and the Pina Colada. How about pairing a nice cocktail with a juicy steak? That was the cocktail trivia for tonight. At the cafe? <laughs> That's a close call. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> ah. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. There are two ways to classify drinks, short and long. Short drinks have a high percentage of alcohol. They're served in small glasses so they can be consumed while the cocktail is still cold. On the other hand, long drinks are cocktails made to be enjoyed for an extended period of time. They are served in a large glass. Whether you want to take your time and discuss the meaning of life over a drink, or gulp it down and get it over with, the choice is yours. That was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Enough with the shady piano! I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. Have you ever heard of hot buttered rum? It's a cocktail that combines rum with hot water, sugar, and butter. I know what you're thinking, rum and butter? But the two actually pair quite well. The drink's sweet scent is perfect on a cold day. That was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Consisting of creme de cassis topped with white wine. Pier Royale uses champagne in place of the white wine used in the traditional Pier. The Pier Imperial is a modern version of the Pier Royale and uses strawberry liqueur in place of champagne. Why not show off in front of your friends and order one before your food arrives? That was the cocktail trivia for tonight. some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. Various types of glasses are used for cocktails. Extra long glasses used for long drinks are sometimes called zombie glasses. The name derives from the cocktail the glass was originally created for, called the zombie. The drink was so named because it contained Alcohol so strong that it revives the dead. Be careful not to drink too much and turn into a zombie yourself. That was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Ah, I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. Flare bartending is the practice of entertaining customers with acrobatics, such as juggling bottles while making a cocktail. The word flare originally came from the French word for fragrance, but in modern day, it is used to convey elegance and style. It's so wonderful that they not only provide a cocktail, but a performance as well. 
Flair bartenders are so cool that they steal many a heart, even without the influence of alcohol. If you are planning to take your date to a bar, it may be best to go to one that employs bartenders without flair. That was the cocktail trivia for tonight. glass is empty. You seem to really love rum and cola. Here's some cocktail trivia that may reflect your current mood. The El Diablo is a cocktail named after a demon. This red cocktail is a devilish combination of tequila, lime juice, and ginger ale. Be careful not to let your diabolic companion get you too drunk. That is all for tonight's trivia. Please enjoy the rest of the story. I feel like I'm finally back. Catherine, wait for me. Ah, Steve was killed. 